Hi guys, Ashlyn here from Dream DIY. Welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I showed you the first part of my courtyard cleanup. It was all about the woodwork, but today is all about the painting. It's day two of the Dream DIY courtyard makeover. The sun is shining. It is a perfect day for painting, and that's what I'm going to be doing mostly today painting all the woodwork that I did yesterday and also then start moving some of the stuff and doing a few little DIY designs around the place. This is the part of the project that I get most excited about and that is painting the woodwork that you've just created. What I'm going with today is the Willow Garden Shades and it is going on like a dream. I've used lots and lots of fence paints and this is by far the thickest, creamiest and has the best coverage. So I definitely, definitely recommend it. One thing I would say, although it looks this color in the tin, when you do put it on the wood, it does dry a little bit darker. Do a little patch test first, just to make sure you're happy with the color that it is once it's dried in. And I am, so I am ready to paint my whole fence. I'm often to use a brush instead of a roller because I think you just have more control over the brush when you're painting wood. Uh, so this is the second coat and definitely the coverage is amazing. So now I just have to do all of it. How amazing is this color? I don't know if you can see it, but it actually looks so, so nice. I did like the color that I had on before, but I think this is just a bit more richer, a bit more mature, and it really goes with the red brick and the whole Victorian kind of theme. But yeah, loving it. I've done two coats on that side, one coat on this side. Uh, it's going on really well. You could get away with one coat, but I always like to do two coats just to be safe. So I'm gonna go and make a cup of tea, have a wee break, and then get stuck in with the second coat. The fence is painted, so I'm now moving on to my shutters. I'm using the same paint, same brush, same tin, and the same shade, Willow Green. So uh, I'm really loving the way it's drying, and I can't wait to see how these turn out. So I'm just gonna paint away. Over the next couple of days, I painted everything that needed a new lease of life, including downspouts, including barrels, floor pots, old doors, a safe, you name it, I painted it. This old door was here when I bought the house, but it was hanging off its hinges. So I tightened up the hinges, I put on new bits of wood. This was falling off, the bottom has fallen off. I made a new frame. This is actually the wood from the inside of our window. So this is from like 1880. So I put that on, I added a little shoehorn. This was the little lock, it was hanging off it. So it was a wee hole, I just put it through. Just, I like to keep things and maybe I might hang something off it. So what I'm doing now is I'm freshening up the door. I've already given it a new coat of paint. Now I'm just going around all the little bits of metal. I'm painting it with some hammerite paint. I'm using a makeup brush because I can't find a smaller brush. Uh, so it's doing the trick. You just have to be nice and gentle. Don't be rushing it. The hinges are sitting off the door so don't really need to mask because I'm just hitting the edges of it. 
And a wee tip is don't overload your paintbrush because that's when drips happen. So just put a wee bit on, keep on coming back there. And as I said, I don't want it looking brand new, I just want it looking a wee bit cleaner. The back wall is finally starting to take shape and again this is only make do until we get our garage sorted so I'm just trying to make it a little bit prettier for uh, not that much money. So this was wood that I had lying about the house. I used plywood, put it onto two hinges and then I used the old floorboards to make a little frame and I ordered 24 of these little mirror tiles and I'm going to put them on. If you can see I've already drew out my little squares. Uh, so I've measured it to make sure that I get them all in perfectly. And basically they sent me little stickers, little sticky things, they're not going to be strong enough. So I've got my grip fill, so now I'm going to carefully put the grip fill onto the back of the tiles and place them on. So that's what I'm going to do now. looking good so far, very happy with this, uh, very inexpensive and something that is definitely going to change this area. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just let them dry, keep an eye on them for any ones that are slipping and then I'm going to come back and give them a good clean and rub out all the pencil lines. Again this is only temporary because we are going to be doing up the garage uh, someday someday soon, hopefully, I don't know. Uh, so this is just to kind of tie me over uh, and clean up the place a little bit. I'm loving how the fence is looking. I've added on this little wall hanger, so it's a little planter. Uh, basically just two screws. I'm going to put another one here and another one on the other side, but I have to go and buy them. I had these in the shed. I then put on the bottom of it some planter lining. And then, like all my projects, I added some gravel. So some gravel along the bottom to help with the drainage. And I'm gonna fill it with some soil. And a little tip that I like to do is to put some holes into the liner. And then one at the end. The hardest bit of it. The plants that I'm going to use in these planters are petunias. They are so good for filling out any kind of planter, any hanging basket. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to just put in a couple at the top because again, these do fill out really well. And then with the little holes, going to squash it into a wee bit of a circle and then you just push them through. It can be a bit muddy or sometimes it's easier to push it through that way. So there you go, there's one in. So be very gentle with the wee roots. Again, I'm going to do it this way again. So I'm going to make that hole a bit bigger. Have it, that is how I fill my little wall planters. In the next couple of weeks these will just multiply and these will be trailing. Well fingers crossed hopefully they will but the main thing is to remember is you have to water them. 
I have a little routine now where I get up, have my breakfast, and then quite quickly and do all my watering. And um, you definitely have to do it, especially in days like this, it's really, really warm. So yeah, there you go, nice and easy. With all the painting now complete, it is time for the fun bit, to bring in all my little bits and pieces, all my decor, to really bring this area to life. Yeah. All the winter is gone. The last project of the day was to create a hanging wall feature. Now this was very simple to make. All I used was an old branch, some ribbon and some artificial flowers. So I just hung it up, put the ribbon around it and tied the flowers onto the bottom. It's really pretty and because it's artificial flowers it's always going to look pretty. So it's a really cheap, effective and pretty way to brighten up a wall. I'm really happy with how this makeover turned out. I can't wait to get my granda up after lockdown to show him the shutters. I have been having my breakfast out here. Seamus and I have been having our lunch. It's just been a really nice wee area to sit and chill. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and hopefully i will see you in my next video and as always remember if you can dream it you can diy it